Hello, I'm Garrett Krzyzewski, and we're here today to discuss the new Smartwell incubator. It's the Model 1710, and to present to you some of the changes to this new version of incubator. Uh, in particular, we're going to focus on the new BI insert wizard, which makes it more user-friendly for everyday use. When a biological indicator is retrieved from the sterilization cycle, we activate the biological indicator by placing it into the crushing cavity and sliding it forward. This cracks the glass media ampule and puts the growth media in contact with the spores on the paper strip. Now we simply insert the biological indicator into any one of the available cells. When a new biological indicator is inserted into the cell, the LED on the top will blink amber, and this is to signify that the incubator is expecting the user to enter more inter information in the BI insert wizard. If a biological indicator is removed from the incubator before the test is complete, we have a 10 second countdown timer. At the end of the 10 seconds, all data from that cell will be lost. It's important to replace the biological indicator before that 10 second countdown expires. When a BI is inserted into the incubator, the BI wizard, insert wizard, will automatically come up and it just walks you through the information that's necessary to add to the incubator. The first thing that comes up is the BI lot number. And the incubator will remember the last few lot numbers that we've used. So if they appear on the list, we can simply select the appropriate lot number and move forward. If you're using a new lot number that is not pre-populated, we press the Add button. We can then enter the three-digit lot number and click the check mark. SR452 shows up and we forward to the next field. The incubator will also remember user names. So if the name is correct, we can simply select or we can add a user Dan and click the check mark. The next item to enter is the sterilizer number and again the Smartwell incubator remembers previously used numbers so we can toggle to the appropriate sterilizer number and click the forward button. The next item of interest is the cycle ID number. This allows you to tie the biological indicator to the specific sterilization cycle. So we click the pencil to write the sterilizer ID number. And the check mark button advance to the next screen and now we can see a review of the information we've just entered. This tells us cell number two, the BI status is testing. It shows us the incubation start time. It shows us the total time elapsed thus far, the BI lot number, the user's name, the sterilizer number, and the cycle ID. Once we've reviewed this and verified that all the information has been entered correctly, we simply click the back arrow and we go back to our home screen. The home screen will show us the status of the various biological indicators that are currently in the incubator. Here we can see in cell number two, the background color is purple, and that designates that the media in that particular biological indicator is also purple at this time. The hourglass tells us that the biological indicator in well number two is currently in test. We can look at cell number six, and here we see a yellow background color because this biological indicator is growth positive and the media has changed from purple to yellow. We also get a red plus sign indicating the growth positive result, and the plus sign is red because this is an undesirable result. In a sterilization cycle, we expect all of our biological indicators to be growth negative, and here we have yellow media indicating growth positive and the red plus sign. In a positive control cell, growth is the desired result. 
So here we can see the yellow background indicating that the media has turned yellow, but we have a green plus sign because this is the desirable result in a positive control compared to an undesirable result in a test biological indicator. I'd like to point out that in the positive control cell, we expect spores to grow, and thus we have the yellow result with the green positive, indicating growth positive, and green indicating this is the desired result. If we had a positive control BI that failed to grow, the readout would be on a purple background because the media is still purple, and we would see a red negative sign indicating a growth negative result, and red indicating that this is an undesirable result from a biological indicator where growth was expected. The hourglass icon is also representative of the amount of time the biological indicator has been in the incubator. Here we can see in cell number two, the biological was freshly inserted, and so the hourglass is empty. In cell number eight, the biological indicator has been in the incubator for a longer amount of time, and you can notice the change in how the icon is pictured. Touch cell eight to see the query screen, and we see that this biological has spent three hours, one minute in the incubator, compared to cell two, which has spent only 55 minutes thus far in the incubator. The gear symbol in the bottom right hand corner indicates incubator settings. Here in the tools menu we see four icons, a lock, documents, and a speaker, and information. Unlike the previous incubator, the Model 1710 does have password protection, so certain aspects that we wish to program can only be accessed by a person who knows the password. When touching the lock box, we'll be prompted to enter our incubator password. For this demonstration, we've selected 1710 as our password. I click the check mark, and now I have access to the Advanced Tools menu. From the Advanced Tools menu, we can change the password, and this is something a supervisor will want to do when they're initially setting up the incubator. We change the password by pressing on this lockbox icon, and now we're prompted to enter our new password. Another item that you'll want to do when you first receive your incubator is select the appropriate language. This globe icon allows us to toggle between English, French, Italian, or the Spanish language. From the Advanced Tools menu, we also need to program the incubator for the correct date and time. The calendar icon allows us to program the appropriate date. The clock icon allows us to program the appropriate time. When the incubator arrives to you, it will be programmed to the 24-hour incubation time by default. This icon allows us to set the appropriate incubation time. We can also adjust the volume level with the speaker icon. Use the left and right arrow buttons to toggle to louder and softer volumes. When we exit from the password protected settings, the incubator is locked again and we cannot access these items without again entering our password. The question mark icon is our help mode. Once pressed, we see that we are in help mode. Press any button and it gives you a brief description of what you're looking at, in this case, testing. If you press it a second time, it will actually take you to that screen. Here we see a status update on the biological indicator in cell number eight. Additionally, if we go to the settings menu and activate the help mode, Again, touch any icon for a description of what that icon represents. If you touch twice in succession, it will take you to that actual screen. Thank you for watching our presentation of the SmartWell Model 1710. For more information, visit mesalabs.com.